Good afternoon, YouTube. Going to do a quick video how to of get to uh, Bayside WMA Water Management Area Campground. And uh, it's a great boondocking spot. It's free. And most people don't know how to get there. Uh, what happens is you'll, you'll turn on Google and it'll make you turn in one of these uh, Eglin Air Force base roads. Some of them are just sand. And if you have a big RV, you might get stuck. So I uh, just want to practice some of my shot cut editing skills and uh, get on with uh, uploading some cool uh, videos. And um, you'll see on the directions, you'll come off the Highway 87 and then there'll be a cement road or asphalt road. And then you'll turn in here and this will be a dirt road. And it'll be almost a five mile trek around this airfield just to get there. And this not, this might not even be the right direction because um, this might be the one that takes you on a bad turn, but it's pretty close. You're going around at this airfield and you'll see the gate when you get nearby and um, you'll see in the video. So uh, enjoy. Uh, speed control, sometimes there's cops, so it's good to go slow anyway. Um, but there's a couple people behind me right now and I'm going a little fast, but still we're almost there um, like I said I'm just giving you road there is an airfield gate like I said before and you can see the left hand side of the lane is actually orange from people turning off the road and right hand side of the lane is usually pretty clean and if you if you would have took the Google Google map suggestion you might have go on one of these back roads here getting stuck Field gate again, and we're turning on to Choctaw B Choctaw Field Road, and then you'll see the sign Ace Grip on O Point Campgrounds 4.7 miles, and that's good. So it can be a little slow on this road sometimes, especially if it's a wet um, or behind people, and just be careful on the turn so you don't pass a big rig or something and you get out of the way, but generally you can both people can get off to the side pretty easily so there's a few turns uh, but it's pretty straightforward you'll start seeing the wildlife signs wildlife management signs and a little bit of directions there could be better directions but not too bad the road's a little ruddy when it's dry Kind of fun when it's wet and you just slip and slide. Camera's bouncing around. Should have brought my gimbal. This was closed during COVID. They opened it back up. Um, hopefully they'll they'll keep it open. As you can see, everyone's pretty much socially distancing. There's generally you'll just see like one or two people just a small family by themselves no people just come out here to fish and camp up to Blackwater Bay another section of the road the road opens up here
boats are close. You'll see a Scribano Point Wildlife Management Area, Florida Fish Wildlife Conservation Commission sign. getting closer to our campsite again it's a long way on this dirt road left is Bayou campground right Bayside campground and if you go the wrong way um, Bayside you can turn around in the, in the very ends the day use parking area so there's a couple spots to turn around depending on how big your rig is. Nice little uh, hiking area. So you can deal with the bugs. See some wildlife. So, when you get into this area in the summertime, be prepared for a lot of yellow flies. Maybe bring a thermocell, some tiki torches, add some good repellent. Uh, I keep some in my pocket. Yeah, yellow flies in the daytime and Probably the no CMs come and get you at night. So when you get here, just be careful. Um, free to camp here, go online, get you a permit, print it out, and just put it on your campsite. Or there's used to be like little pieces of paper you can write on at the uh, kiosk there. Nine and campsites 9 and 10 or walk-in so the one right out my window is a walk-in and the one where that tent trailer is is a walk-in they got here yesterday and then they um, they were able to get a reservation immediately because no one was there um, after number nine where the tent camper is the uh, site number eight is tent only and then seven six five four I guess four, three, two, one are all there. Those are usually the top spots. Those are probably the biggest ones where you can put a real RV in, a decent sized ones, and be right next to the bay. I am at campsite number 11 behind the port potties, which is pretty big, and no one was had it reserved this weekend. It's been pretty good because no one's really been bothering me. And I've been running a generator, so I don't feel uh, bad about running the generator because uh, it's a Honda, it's not very loud, and I'm away from everybody. So, the ocean, Blackwater Bay, the waves, they help disperse the sounds. And my dog was hot last night, so I turned it on early at 4 instead of 6 a.m. Trying to observe quiet hours. Uh, but it would not get, it would not cool down last night for whatever reason. It was muggy, cloudy, 82 degrees all night. So, turned my generator on, got some sleep at 4, ran the AC. And I do have solar, so like if you're looking for solar, notice the sunny patches. One of my neighbors, he's 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 all solar up right there. He's got like 18 panels on his roof, and he's got a portable one. He moves around trying to get the solar, so he's all set. Um, I got solar, but I'm in the shade, so it doesn't really help. And it was cloudy, so I might be I might be getting some solar right now. Um, so that's kind of it. I'll try to give a another walk around tour when I take uh, this guy out for a walk he likes to 
go for walks at 2 a.m., 5 a.m., um, any time of night. So you'll probably have some more video from me from that. This is campsite number one with the uh, bayside. Has a really nice view. Fire pit, picnic table. You see my airstream back there at campsite number 11. And then we'll keep going towards the parking lot. Group camp areas behind me. If I can turn the camera right. But it's been cloudy the last few days, so getting some solar sun. Dogs uh, doing something over here. Looking for crabs and the neighbor's dog. So it's got a lot of priorities. And then you can see it's behind this tree is uh, beaches and it's Cribano Point. Any tips? Hey Mac, any tips for first time paddle boarders? No? Where are you going? Let's go. Uh oh. I went up the paddleboard.